In today's video, I'll be comparing units that are in the real Scooby Toilet episodes to the units that are in the multiverse episodes to see which team can get the furthest on endless mode in Toilet Tower Defense. I'll be starting with the original team of units and then I'll be using the multiverse units, and whichever team makes it the first will be crowned as the better series. But anyway, before we begin, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so we can hit 200,000 subs before the end of the year. We're literally less than 27,000 away, so it would help me out a ton if you were to. And also, join my Discord server because we host giveaways there daily and I post sneak peeks to future videos as well. Link is in the description. Anyway, for the team original, we do have the Hyper Upgraded Titan Speak Man for the main form of our deep. Then we have the Green Laser as our starter unit. Then we have the Astro Upgraded Titan Cameraman as our slowing unit. Then obviously the Speak Prepare Drone to unstun units. And then obviously the TV Woman. Anyway, for both teams, I'll be bringing a Santa TV Man as well. Just so we can get a bit more extra cash. And yeah, without any more waiting, let's use these units in game right now. Here we go. And yeah, for this challenge, we'll be fully auto skipping the entire time. Also, I haven't played Endless at all, and it actually looks like they did change the graphics on the map. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. I kind of really miss the old version. I feel like it was more vibrant as well, which just made it a lot better for sure. But yeah, now that we have all of our Santas placed, I'll upgrade them a few more times and then we'll place the green laser down. So yeah, by wave 3, let's get both of our Santas to level 2. And then by wave 4, we might as well get one to level 3. And yeah, now we'll definitely place one exactly right here as soon as it skips. So perfect, so let's place it. This definitely is a pretty OG start unit as well. Not many people really use it anymore. It's honestly pretty underrated as a starter, but it's definitely not that great for late game. Oh yeah, another rule for this challenge is that I have to use every single unit that I equipped. Meaning I can't just place a ton of hypers down. I have to make sure to also use the green laser as well as a TV woman, speaker repair drone, and astro. So yeah, that just makes the challenge a little bit tougher for sure. But definitely watch until the end to see which team gets the furthest. And put a comment down below on which team you think is going to get further. Team Original or Team Multiverse? I personally think Team Multiverse is going to win, but let me know what you think is going to win. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to upgrade this thing as soon as I can afford to. So right about now. And yeah, that was definitely needed or else a bunch of toilets would have gotten by. In fact, that was way too close, so I actually think we're going to get it to level 3 now. But yeah, by wave 10, we already have all of our Santas as level 5, so we're definitely doing pretty solid. So yeah, we already have a Santa as level 6, and we might as well actually get it to level 7 now. And I think I'm actually going to max this out as soon as the large glasses toilet is in range of it. Actually, never mind. I think we're going to actually place a second one down right about here, and we'll max out this one instead. So actually, I do think two is going to be enough for now, so we probably won't even need to place any more down. So yeah, back to upgrading in our Santas for now. So yeah, now we have all of our farms as level 7, and there's our first one maxed out, and the second one, and finally, there we go, we're already maxed out by wave 19. That actually didn't take too long at all for sure. So yeah, now it is definitely time to place and max a hyper right in the center, so right about here. So let's place it, and let's already get it to level 2. And as soon as it skips it again, we can get it to level 3. So let's do exactly that. And there's it as level 4 now. I actually think this is where we're going to pause it to upgrade it for now. And instead we'll place an astro right about here. And let's start upgrading this now. So there's level 2, and 3, and 4, and 5. And finally, there we go. We maxed it out. When Max Utter does 11,400 damage, has 65 range, a 0.2 cooldown, and it can actually slow toilets by 60%, which helps a ton. So yeah, now it is definitely time to max out a green laser. So I actually think we're just gonna max out this one right here. Perfect. We'll sell this old one right here, and now we'll place a speaker repair drone right in the center here. And let's just instantly max out this too. And obviously, we gotta max out a TV woman as well. I think we'll max it out right here. So there we go, that's maxed out too. Erm, Sigma, 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 Sigma! Anyways... I think now we'll definitely max out our Hyper. So yeah, as soon as it skips one more time, we'll max it out. So yeah, perfect. When max out, it does 20,000 damage, has 55 range, and a 0.25 cooldown. Now it is definitely time to max out a few more of these guys, so we'll place one right behind it here and max out this next. So there's level 2, 
and three and four and there's the second one maxed out but yeah we are actually doing pretty solid right now we're all the way in wave 44 and really nothing is making it too far at all and obviously, the TV woman is hard clutching right now. But yeah, now let's max out one right about here. So there's level 2, and 3, and 4. And there we go, we finally maxed out the third one as well. In fact, once it skips one more time, we'll already be on wave 50. Nice. But yeah, there's the wave 50 boss, the giant smooth toilet. And we're honestly doing a pretty solid job, and it's not even really being heavily targeted yet either. Well, right about now it will be, and it's already below 5 million health. And 4 million, and 3, and 2, and 1, and yeah, just like that. We got it. But yeah, in the time that it took to beat that boss, we almost have another hyper maxed out. In fact, yeah, once it skips to wave 56, we'll already be able to max out the fourth one. We're actually doing a pretty solid job right now. So yeah, just as predicted, we already maxed out that one too. I think now we'll place the fifth one right here, and we might as well try to start upgrading this one too. Although toilets are definitely starting to make it a lot farther right now. I'm not even gonna lie, we might lose before wave 70. We'll have to see though. But yeah, there's it as level 4. But yeah, we're already on wave 60 with the frost skeleton toilet now. We're honestly hard cooking right now. In fact, yeah, once we kill a few more toilets, we'll already be able to max out our sixth one. Oh, wait, no, not our sixth, our fifth, sorry. There we go. But yeah, the Frost Skeleton Toilet does have 13 million health on it, so it's gonna be a while before we're even able to target it either. I mean, we have to kill all these massive buzzsaw toilets, the buff mutant toilets, the giant blind toilets, and then finally we'll start targeting this. So yeah, now it's finally taken its first bit of damage, but while it does, we'll place our sixth one down here and max it out as soon as possible. So yeah, it's already below 10 million, and 9 million, and 8, and 7, and 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and yeah, just like that, we already got it right about now. But yeah, that one toilet definitely paved the way for a ton more to make it really far. We still may be able to make it to wave 70, but it's definitely not likely. But wait, the TV woman is finally gonna start targeting them. Let's go, TV woman. You're actually so goaded. Let's go. Are you go. serious right now, bro? But yeah, there we go. We already maxed out another hyper. Toilets are definitely starting to get to the deathly bend any second now, unfortunately. So we probably will lose in the next five or so waves. Either way, though, we'll place our seventh one down and max out this next. But yeah, this beret rocket launcher toilet right here is probably going to be the death of us. I mean, it still has about 7 million health on it. And yeah, it's about to get to this corner now. So yeah, it actually got to the corner with about 4 million health on it. But now there's giant smooth toilets with 6 million still. And this massive buzzsaw with 7. So yeah, we are probably dead here. But either way though, we did make it to wave 70, so that was definitely my goal. But yeah, unfortunately our TV woman is getting stunned a ton. So maybe if I do a little of this, it'll get unstunned. And dang it, that actually did not work. So yeah, that actually caused a bunch of toilets to get on by. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to max out one more either. We would have to skip two more waves for that to happen. And plus, the giant turkey toilet keeps on stunning us again and again. So yeah, we're finally dead in 3, 2, 1, and GG. 64 waves beaten for the original team. I'll definitely take that for sure. That's pretty solid. So yeah, that puts the team original units at 64 waves, meaning the multiverse team has to get at least 65 waves to win. So yeah, for team multiverse, we do have the upgrade time clockman for its ability, the clock woman for its cooldown boost, the Golden Future Lunch Clockman for our main form of deep, the Chief Clockman to boost range by 15%, and to slow, and then finally the upgraded Time Drillman to pick up big tanks and DPS them down a ton. So yeah, let's equip all five of these right now, and yeah, let's see how far we can get on Endless Mode with them. Here we go. All of these units are definitely a lot more expensive to place and max than the last team. But either way, we'll start with the same strategy as placing two farms on level 1, and then on wave 2, we might as well place our last one as well. And I think finally we'll upgrade 2 to level 2, and now it's definitely time to save to place a Chief Clockman down. But yeah, like last round, we'll be fully auto-skipping the entire time, just to make it as fair as possible. 
we get about 500 cash per wave. Meaning we definitely have a few waves before we have to place anything down. So yeah, finally, as soon as it skips one more time, we'll place it exactly right here. So yeah, let's place it. And already on level 1, it's doing 1,000 damage. Has 30 range, a 0.5 cooldown, and can boost range by 3%. Plus it spawns in clock spiders with 20,000 health on them each. So yeah, this is definitely a very solid starting unit, and we probably won't even need to place any more down for the rest of the round. Well, at least until we have all of our Santas maxed out. Speaking of which, let's get our level 3 one to level 4, and now let's get the level 2 ones to level 3. Now we can get the level 4 one to level 5, and the level 3 one to level 5 as well. And now that we have all of our farms as level 5, I think I'll either just see you guys once we upgrade our cheap clock, man. Or once we're already maxed out with our Santas. So yeah, see you guys then. So yeah, once we upgrade this Santa to level 7, we'll definitely upgrade our Chief Clockman to level 2. And that should definitely help a ton. So yeah, there's it as level 7. And now we just need a save to upgrade this. Hopefully we can upgrade it before we lose, but it may be close. Because we still do need about 200 more dollars before we can afford it. So yeah, there we go. We got it to level 2 just in time. But yeah, there's our first farm maxed out, and our second one, and finally, there we go. By wave 21, we maxed out our last Santa. It definitely took a few more waves, but it's all good for now. Now it's definitely time to place a golden future large clockman directly in the center, so we'll place it right here, and let's honestly just time stop to automatically clear out literally everything. That was crazy. But yeah, once this guy rotates, we'll definitely place a few more down. That way we can place the rest of these units as well. So yeah, now that it finally rotated, let's place a few of these guys down. And I think we're going to place eight in a row. And then on the second row, we'll place seven. So there's ten. And finally, all fifteen that we're going to place for now. Now it's definitely time to place the chief clock man down. So we'll place it right here. And let's just start maxing out this instead. I think real quick before these rotate super weirdly, we'll place a clock woman down right here. But first, let's max out our chief. So there's level 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and finally, there it is, fully maxed out. When maxed out, it does 15,000 damage, has 60 range, a 0.45 cooldown, and boost range by 15%. Now let's definitely max out our clock woman. So there's level 2, and 3, and there we go, we already can max out this too. When maxed out, the clock woman does 17,000 damage, has a perfect amount of range at 69, a 0.5 cooldown, and can boost cooldown by 22%. So yeah, now we are definitely chilling very hard. I think next up we'll place an upgraded time clock man right about here, and let's max out this next. So there's level 2, and 3, and 4, and finally level 5. But yeah, we are literally still spawn killing by wave 40, which is crazy. Normally you do not spawn kill for this long, to be honest. But yeah, there it is, the glitch toilet on wave 40. And yeah, we're already gonna get it right about now. That was so quick. But yeah, there's the upgraded time clock man as level 6, and there it is, fully maxed out. When the Axe does 87,500 damage, has a massive range of 92, and a 0.39 cooldown. Now I think it's definitely time to max out a Golden Future Large Clock Man, so let's just upgrade it as soon as we can. And there we go, perfectly by wave 50 we maxed it out. When Max Out does 115,000 damage, has 115 range, a 0.78 cooldown, and can slow toilets by 60%. But yeah, there's the giant smooth toilet, and we're absolutely shredding through it. In fact, yeah, it's already dead in 3, 2, 1, and yeah, there it goes. Way too easy. But obviously, now we do have to max an upgraded Titan Drill Man, so we'll place it way back here and max it out. So there's level 2, and 3, and 4, and now we can finally start picking up toilets now as well. Perfect. This will definitely help a ton for sure. It's definitely a very expensive last upgrade, but we do have to save for it before we can max out the rest of these goldens. Or else that would definitely be cheating. We should be able to max it out before the next boss spawns in though, so we should be good. In fact, yeah, once it skips once or twice more, we will for sure be able to afford it. So yeah, there we go, we already maxed out this too. 
when maxed out it does 170,000 damage, has an 80.5 range, and then a 1 second cooldown. So yeah, definitely a pretty solid unit for sure. But yeah, now it's definitely time to max out the rest of these Goldens. So let's just start doing that right away. And here we go, the Wave 60 boss should spawn in, so there it is. Once again, we are fighting the Frost Skeleton Toilet, but it's already almost going to be targeted right away. In fact, yeah, the upgraded Titan Drill Man should pick it up any second. Yeah, there it goes. And now she's going to absolutely get shredded through. In fact, yeah, it's already below 50%, and 40, and 30, and 20, and 10, and yeah, just like that, we already got it right about now. And yeah, we can already max out our second golden, so perfect. I actually do think we're going to set this thing on strongest, that way we can maximize our damage as much as possible. But yeah, for now, we're definitely going to focus on maxing out the rest of these. So I'll just see once the third one's maxed out. And there we go, we maxed out three now. Now I'll either see you guys on wave 70, or once we max out five. And yeah, we actually just made it to wave 70, and time for us to max out our fourth golden. And I'm pretty sure this is officially the better run so far. I mean, no toilets are making it out all far, and this is about the time that we died last time. So yeah, it may just be decided that the multiverse units are better. Definitely not a surprise, obviously. But yeah, there's the giant turkey toilet with 22.6 million health on it. We're honestly gonna get it no problem, though. I wouldn't even be worried whatsoever. In fact, yeah, it should start being targeted any second now as well. So there it is. And it's already below 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7... 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and yeah, just like that, we got it. But yeah, there's 5 Goldens maxed out, and now we still have to max out 10 more. I think our goal for this run is to get to 90, maybe even wave 100. We'll see if we're able to do all of that, though. It'll definitely be tough, but I think it's definitely possible as well. But yeah, there's 6 maxed out now. We're almost done with this front row, which is actually pretty good. If we can finish this front row up by about wave 85, that'll definitely be on track. And here we go against the wave 80 boss, the dual cargo toilet. We are already able to max out another one as soon as we kill a few more toilets though. So this one is definitely looking very promising. So yeah, there we go. Now we only have to max out this one right here and then we'll be done with this entire row. And yeah, the cargo toilet is already dead. And I don't even see the glitches, bro. Okay, wait, there they are. They're already almost dead, though, so we should be able to get them no problem. In fact, yeah, I think they're already gone. I do not see them at all. But yeah, I'll just see you guys once we max out this last golden right here. And yeah, as predicted, we maxed out the entire row by wave 85. That could not have been more perfect. So yeah, we still have seven more to max out in total, but I'll just see you guys on wave 90. And yeah, now we're on wave 90, and in that time, I was actually almost able to max out two more. Once we kill about one more toilet, yeah, there we go. Now we maxed out two. But there is the broken heart toilet with 85 million health on it. Bullets are definitely starting to get a bit farther now, though, so it is a little bit worrying. Either way, though, we're already doing a pretty solid amount of damage to the broken heart, and it's already almost below 90%, and it hasn't even really been targeted either. But yeah, unfortunately, guys, I do start school as of the day of recording this video. So yeah, guys, unfortunately, I will have to start uploading a little bit less than I used to. I'll probably try to upload at least once every other day, but we'll see if I'm able to uphold that. But yeah, either way, we did max out one more, meaning we only have four left to go. And now the Broken Heart is going to be hard targeted. In fact, yeah, it's already below 50 million and 40 and 30 and now i actually do think i'm going to use my ultra lightning time stop just to hopefully clear out everything else this should definitely help a ton as it's already below 10 million 9 million 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and yeah we got it nice but yeah that was actually a pretty quick time stop and we still didn't really even clear out everything there's still about 10 million worth of health over here but everything else is pretty low but yeah there we go now we maxed out another one we have three left to go now. But yeah, now toilets are only up to here, and, and one great attack would literally clear out all of these. Okay, well, maybe not one, but definitely a few. Anyway, we just made it to wave 100, so this is by far the better series. As soon as it skips one more time, though, we'll be down to two more to max out. I think our new goal is to max out before we lose. 
So yeah, two left and there's the DJ Toilet 2.0. It does have almost 15 million health on it, so this is by far a tougher boss than the last few. Plus, we don't even have a time stop for another 100 seconds. So we actually just may be dead here. It'll definitely be close if we live, but we'll see. Luckily, we do have the Rewind Toilet ability, so we'll definitely use that to our advantage. But yeah, these turkeys still have about 20 million health each, so this is definitely not looking great. I mean, this is literally 80 million health combined. But either way, though, there's only two left now, both with about 30 million combined. But yeah, that definitely paved the way for a ton more toilets to get very far. In fact, the DJ Toilet 2.0 hasn't even taken that much damage. Like, sure, it's been taking about 30 million damage worth, but that is definitely not enough. But yeah, now we're down to our last one to max out. In fact, we only have to upgrade it twice more now. But yeah, now the DJ is officially below 50 million health, and 40 million, and 30, 20, 10, and yeah, GG's, we got it. We do officially have one more upgrade to go, and we actually just got our Ultra Lightning Time Stop back. So I honestly think we are gonna use it in a few seconds. We probably will not get it back once again, so we have to use it as soon as we need it most importantly. But yeah, once we kill a few more toilets, we'll officially be able to max out our golden future large clock man. So there we go, let's do exactly that. We are officially fully maxed out, there's really nothing else for me to do. Other than definitely ultra lightning time stop as it is definitely needed right about now. And I think once this DJ Toilet 2.0 is in the front, we will restart it back to the beginning. So yeah, we definitely have to kill all these quads right here, and then we'll be able to. So yeah, right about now. That was perfect, now everything else can officially be targeted. And now we're gonna be pretty much hard chilling. Now I think our goal is to get to wave 120. This is definitely a bit of a stretch, but it may just may be possible. We'll have to see though, we are definitely not looking very good. Luckily all these smooth toilets are very low, so we should for sure be able to get these as well as these giant turkeys. But yeah, now there's two more DJs with about 85 million each. So yeah, we may just die to these. In fact, there's the DJ toilet that we rewinded in the beginning, and actually we just killed it. Let's go. Once we have about $100,000, that will definitely sell all three of our Santas to place the final three down. What I mean by the final three is the final three golden futures. But I don't know if we're going to be able to live long enough to do that. I mean, this pumpkin right here still has about 80 million health on it, and there's another one with 120 million. So, yeah, we are probably just cooked here. We don't even get our Ultra Lightning Time Stop for back for another 70 seconds. So, yeah, and now there's even glitches going max speed. Yeah, look, there's even more incoming, bro. We may just die to these, too. Luckily, they are all pretty low, so we should be good. But we're probably dead to this mutant pumpkin toilets. In fact, yeah, once it skips one more time, we'll definitely sell our all three Santas to place the final three down. Bro, wait, 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 this Ultra Soldier toilet. No, 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 no. We are dead. Yeah, GG's. We have 108 beats, and I'll take it. So, yeah, it is official that obviously the multiverse units are better. What a shocker. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And, yeah, see you guys in the next one very soon. Watch another video while you're at it. And, yeah, peace out, everybody.